It has happened once in this country before, and it can happen again. And if you are students of history, you will know that it happened before in the 60s, and it can happen again today. Between 2013 and now, progressive steps have been made, largely because uh, there is a president who believes in and supported the new constitution and devolution. Otherwise, there was real danger of devolution being made to fail. In the coming election, the man who led opposition to BBI is running to be president of Kenya. Devolution and the entire constitution of Kenya face grim threats, which we must not take rightly. As governors, we feel strongly that devolution will be safe or will only be safe under the hands of a Laila Odinga led government. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hence, our declaration of support. We are keen to help His Excellency Laila Odinga ascend to the presidency and, and thereby preserve devolution. Number two, people focus on politics and campaigns. As governors, we have noted that the fifth is keen to establish a people-driven a campaign focused on the needs of each region. We have seen this in the Azimio La Umoja consultative forums where people shared their concerns. We are here to express readiness to lead that people-driven campaign agenda. We do this well aware that leaders govern the way they campaign. And I repeat, leaders govern the way they campaign. Campaigns that embrace the people and the diversity uh, of their leaders lead to government that embrace and focus on the people uh, and their diverse needs. Number three, peaceful elections. We have taken note of the commitment by His Excellency Laira Amolo Udinga to peaceful campaigns and peaceful elections. We have taken note of his restraint and voice of reason. We are here, uh, we are here, uh, we, here uh, we are here to help build a watertight alliance for Kenya, an alliance to prevent the country from falling in the wrong hands and backsliding into monolithic and dictatorial conditions. We are keen to lead Azimio's uh, team, uh, or Azimio team's aggressive grassroots mobilization in every county, all the wards, through peaceful and progressive campaigns. This time, we have no time to waste on pre-election or post-election standoff and violence that has wasted our country in past elections. We will do everything in our power to help Kenyans understand that we are one people with one destiny. Number four, the future of the nation. As leaders, we feel strongly that the stakes are too high in the coming elections for us to leave anything to chance. The August election will determine whether a number of progressive steps made since 2010 uh, will survive and take care of our children or not. We are convinced that Kenyans will be safe in the hands of His Excellency Raila Amolo Odin. We are therefore agreed that we will be part and parcel of the journey to a united, peaceful, progressive and prosperous Kenya as envisioned in Azimio La Umoja. Having had uh, deep deliberations on our future as a country and the significance to this country, we hereby endorse of Raila Amolo Udinga, signed by us this January uh, 17th here at Naivasha. I thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And it is now. Uh, before the Right Honourable Prime Minister comes in, there were three governors, uh, Governor Olelenku, 
Professor Nyangapu. Uh, no, no, Professor Kibwana uh, and uh, Lee Kinyanjui. If the three of you can come here and say just one word before the right honourable Prime Minister can speak. Yeah, in um, concurrence with the conversations we have had amongst over 30 governors here today, also on behalf of the South Rift and the Ma Nation, we have committed ourselves to be the mobilizers for the campaigns for the Right Honorable Raila Amolo Dinga, and we will take our respective poll positions in our counties to make sure that the ongoing registrations are properly mobilized and to make sure that the right message of peaceful election, one people, one Kenya, get to every Kenyans. And so, on behalf of my colleagues here, governors, we are committed to make sure that the country goes to the right direction. And that can only happen under the presidency of the right Honorable Amolo Raila Odinga. Thank you very much. Um, my, this was my minister when we were in the Grand Coalition Government, uh, His Excellency Governor Kingi. Asante. <laughs> Uh, kama taifa la Kenya tumesonga mbele katika safari ya ugatuzi na bila shaka uchaguzi ambao utafanyika mwezi wa nane utaamua kiwa Kenya itaendelea kupiga upato mfumo huu wa ugatuzi ama mfano mfumo huu wa ugatuzi utayumba na kati ya wale ambao wanatafuta kiti cha urais tofauti iko wazi mmoja ni mtu ambaye anaamini sana mfumo huu wa ugatuzi mwingine alijitokeza kimasomaso mwaka na kumi kupinga mfumo huu wa ugatuzi kwa hivyo wa Kenya wameona manufaa makubwa wa mfumo huu na bila shaka kati ya mikono ya watu hao wawili bila shaka ugatuzi uko katika mikono imara katika mikono ya mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga na hilo ndilo kusudi kubwa la sisi kama magavana hatungependa kamwe baada ya uchaguzi unaokuja wa mwezi wa nane tuone mambo ya ugatuzi mambo ya devolution inaanza kuyumba. Kwa hivyo kwa kauli moja kama governors tumesema kwamba yule ambaye anaweza kupeleka gurudumu la ugatuzi na kufanya ugatuzi usiyumbe si mwingine ni mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga. Kwa hivyo sisi kama governors kupitia mavuli wa azimio la umoja tumekubaliana tumekata kauli kwamba tukirudi mashinani Gavana baada ya gavana tutaweka mikakati yetu katika kaunti zetu. Kuna kwamba tunazungumza na kuhamasisha umma katika kaunti zetu ili wakati tunaenda kufanya uchaguzi watu wetu wajue kabisa kwamba ni nani ambaye mikono yake tutakuwa uh, salama salmi hususan mfumo wa ugatuzi. Asante. Shukran. Tumuuliza uh, governor Wangamati Oh, I also stand here to join uh, my colleagues at the Council of Governors as the Governor of Bungoma County and to say that um, we are committed to this movement started by the Right Honorable Raila Molodinga, the Umoja movement. And I want to say that as the Governor of Mungoma County, as we have agreed as a Council of Governors, that we're going to support Raila Amolo Odinga to become the fifth president 
of the Republic of Kenya. Thank you very much. Um, uh, Governor Korane and then Governor Charity will invite uh, His Excellency after statement. Okay, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, proceed. Asante, Professor Kirimu. Sisi ambao tumejumuika hapa tukua jamii ya devolution kutoka nchi nzima karibu magavana 30 tumejadiliana na tumeamua ya kwamba kwa kuendeleza mambo ya devolution mbele tunaamini na tumeamua ya kwamba tutasimama na mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga kuwa rais wa tano wa nchi hii na mimi nikiwakilisha mkoa wa kaskazini mashariki na jamii ya waislamu nataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba tuko tayari kusimama na mheshimiwa Raila Amolo Odinga asante sana shukran uh, professor kibwana mimi ninafurahi sana kuwa katika kikao hiki leo na katika mazungumzo yale tumefanya e, sisi sote kama magavana uh, wengi kabisa the majority uh, in our country e, tumeamua kwa umoja kwamba tutamsupport watano others call him the fifth but uh, kwa Kiswahili watano uh, mheshimiwa Raila uh, Odinga uh, ndio awe candidate wa azimio i consulted uh, my people in Makueni on Thursday we had uh, a meeting from the entire uh, county of our leadership and they gave me the go ahead to uh, support uh, Azimio uh, through Mungano uh, party and uh, they told me that I have still edge on my side and at some future point I will uh, resume my presidential candidature and uh, the reason we as governors uh, from our conversation uh, support this candidature katika kupigania uhuru wa Kenya eh, watu hata wale hawajui wachanga na watu wote wanajua kwamba uh, Raila uh, Odinga amepigania uhuru wa nji kikamilivu mpaka hata miaka mingi nane akawa katika kizuizini ya maisha uh, yake ikiwa ni katiba ya 2010 alikuwa wa mbele tukisaidiana na wengine uh, katika kuileta katika Kenya uh, yetu na ugatuzi is really the father of devolution i think that is undisputed and devolution will be our savior and we know him as a president he will entrench uh, devolution so today i am happy in my heart because i know that the next president will really take this country forward. He is not interested in kulipanisha uh, vizazi vyote. He is really looking for self-actualization and uh, to make sure our country, the future of the young ones, the children, uh, is secured. So I really am at peace uh, knowing that Watano, who will be my president, is Raila Molodinga. Thank you. Governor Tolgos. Uh, sante sana. Pia mimi nikiwa governor kutoka Ponde la Ufa, North Rift. Tumeungana na wenzangu. Tukiwa the first beneficiaries ya ile struggle ambaye baba alipikania inji. Tukapata katipa mpya Ambaye ukatusi imeza kuleta mafanikio mengi sana katika inji yetu. Kwa hivyo tukiwa hapa tuko tukiunga mkono ama tuki tukiwa nyuma ya asimio na kusupport pia baba awe the fifth kwa sababu tunajua kuna mambo mengi ambaye baba amepikania na pia wakati baba alikuwa katika ile serikali ya uh, wakiwa na mheshimiwa Mwai Kibaki kuna mambo mengi ambaye alifanyika na aswa tukiongea hapa 
sehemu ya uh, Kerio Valley ama not, uh, not Rift tuko na mambo ya insecurity ambayo inaendelea ambayo tumeweza kuketi chini na tunajua katika mipango za baba ameweka hiyo kibao mbele kwa hivyo mimi na ungana na governors wenzangu kusema kwamba tutatembea hii safari tutaenda kule mashinane unajua mahali si tunatoka pia uh, kuna perception kwamba kuna candidate huko na baba ana watu wake pale lakini hapa nikisimama i want to confirm that baba has followers everywhere every corner of this uh, country and i'm happy that through as mio baba now has converted the followers to be partners in this race and we are together and we shall support baba we shall mobilize the voters to register and ensure that in the next elections baba ataingia state house so asante well na pia natoa apologies kutoka ndugu yangu uh, governor professor lonyakapu kutoka kule west pokot tulikuwa jana na tulikuwa na mkutano na na uh, his excellency raila molo odinga tukiongelea mambo ya uh, insecurity kule kerevani asante ni uh, yes i'm going to charity uh, governor joho Unajua magavana wenzangu ni wapole sana. <laughs> Ile kitu ambaye haijasema wazi ni kwamba tulipata habari kutoka duru za kuaminika kwamba mpango mmoja wa William Ruto ni kupiga vita ugatuzi. Na hii ndio sababu umeona magavana wasopungua 30 na wasokuwa hapa wamekuja kwa baba kwa hakikisho kwamba devolution is here to stay na hao unajua ni wa waungwana lakini nataka niwaambie sisi tunajua ugatuzi sahihi kwa macho ya wenzetu uko na noma na tusipojipanga wataharibu progress ambayo tumepata hadi sasa ndio maana tunasema mtu yoyote ambaye ameona manufaa amebadilisha maisha ameona maendeleo mionendo ya ugatuzi then your vote must be for Raila Amolo Odinga thank you uh, governor Charity Ngiru and when you make your statement please uh, chairman will will do it okay proceed yes, chairman proceed yeah. uh, thank you so much uh, i can only say here this morning that um, we are happy as governors that we have found a person who can actually protect, defend devolution. We know before we got the new constitution that we used to go begging at the national government. People of Kenya have found out that they can actually get resources when they need it, where they need it, and that is because it is embedded in the constitution. And therefore, the person who we know has been tested, has been tried, and can defend the constitution and defend devolution is none other than the fifth, Raila Amolo Odinga. And we all as governors have come here to say with one voice that we are going to go out there to make sure that Raila Amolo Odinga is the next president of the Republic of Kenya. And that, that, that our people need to understand where we used to be. This issue of going at the national government to beg for resources. And the national government did not sometimes appreciate shared prosperity. That every county, every constituency needed to share resources equitably. We now know one person. And we feel sorry that BBI did not go through because we were going to get more resources and put in the Constitution. So we do hope and believe that once Raila Molo Odinga becomes the next president of Kenya, he should be able to put in place the shared prosperity of this country so that we can have a peaceful country. And that's the reason why we are supporting Azmio Laumoja. It is painful to see the kind of thing that is happening in this country with people fighting every single day for resources and spending so much money to bring people together, talking about peace, live in peace. They are just by fighting about resources. So, Mwishmua Raila Molo Odinga, we really want to wish you all the best and assure you 
that nothing will be spared when we get out there first to register our people, to come out and vote, to talk to them and to campaign for you. Kenya will be in very safe hands with you. Anybody else pretending to want to take this country to the next level, I can only say I know there is one person who over the years never supported the Constitution. Not when we tried in 2005, not when we did it in 2010, and even now when we wanted to amend it in 2021. I mean, somebody must forever be always wanting to do things that are not right for this country. I want to ask Kenyans to be warned that there is a danger in electing one person, and that is William Samoyo Ruto. Thank you. Uh, I saw a meeting here from uh, Lower Eastern, uh, the three counties in Ukambani, Makueni, Machakos, and Kitui, are together the three governors. Only that uh, Governor Mutua is out of the country. Otherwise, when we get together, we are all supporting one person, and we are going to make sure that he can now help this country. Thank you very much. Okay. Governor Lee. Governor Lee, and then you invite. Yeah, thank you. I join my colleagues first in uh, thanking former Prime Minister for his steadfast support for devolution. Mm -hmm. And we believe this coming election is about the future of devolution. Can we entrust a man who has opposed devolution consistently yes. to be the one to lead it in the coming five, ten years? Mm -hmm. We think we don't want to gamble. And for that reason, we are appealing to, we are 30 here, we are five who have given their apologies, and even those who are not here, and the entire devolution family, it is time to stand up for devolution. And we have also pledged that as we go back to our respective counties, we are going to ensure that we mobilize our people to the man, both to, to, to register as voters and also to ensure that uh, in the coming elections, we are able to put our vote where it counts. Mm -hmm. Lastly, there are people who have campaigned for the last five years. Mm -hmm. Since 2017, they were campaigning. And even if they win now, they will still be campaigning. We want a president who will work for the people of Kenya. Mm -hmm. We cannot be on a perpetual campaign mode. When will we ever work for the people of Kenya? Thank you, and allow me to invite our chairman. Thank you. <coughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, very briefly. I want to reiterate what my colleagues have just said very eloquently, that um, we are unanimous in our meeting which we have just held, that our candidate for 2022 for the presidency, the president of Kenya, the fifth president of Kenya, and commander-in-chief of the armed forces, is no other than Papa, Raira, Omoro, or Dinga. It's unanimous. The way we did with BPI, over 89% of the counties agreed in this policy of bringing Kenya together and also ensuring there is unity in Kenya. And now, with the new philosophy of Asmiura Umoja, Kenya must be united, and it's only Papa who can do that. There is no living person in Kenya or East Africa who has dedicated his services to liberate Kenya in the first and second liberation than Papa. Mm. There is no other candidate who has impressed the governors that devolution will live beyond even himself and beyond his period forever and ever with humility. I feel privileged to now invite His Excellency, the fifth president of Kenya. Maramoja. Asante, Asante, Asante Ndugu Mwenyekiti. Um Kwanza, let me thank the governor of Nakuru for um accepting to host us here in this very, very nice environment. We have had opportunity to deliberate since last <coughs> evening. 
and we have had very, very uh, continual conversation. So, how the Jama Bound, the Waku Kuyam Stadium and Bele, Pali, they say where the rubber meets the road. Because they are the ones who are down there uh, with one inch. Na tukiongea juu ya kuboresha hali ya maisha ya watu wetu chombo ya kwanza kabisa ni ugatuzi. Na vile mnavyojua ugatuzi ilikuwa na maadui wengi zaidi. Kuna wale wengi ya watu ambao hawa waamini utugatuzi inaweza kusaidia watu wetu. Unataka kurudisha huko nyuma. Sisi tuelekea Kanan Wataka kurudisha sisi misri. Tunasema la. Mpaka tuendele mbele. Tukiongea juu ya uchumi mashinani. Ni ugatuzi. Kongea juu ya kuboresha hali ya kilimo katika tayapaletu. Mbundu msingi. Kongea juu ya mambo ya maji. Mambo ya ata ya stima. Afia. Afia. Elimu. Kila kitu ni kule chini. Ya hawa wakupali. Na kila muta na kubali siku hizi ya tangu tuleta ugatuzi. Hali ya maisha ya watu wetu huku mashinani meboreshwa. Sisi tuataka kuboresha zaidi. Ndiyo sababu sisi tuleleta BBI. And the aim of the BBI was to improve our governance structure. They say that a good idea can always yield to a better idea. And a better idea yields to the best idea. And what we were intending to do was basically to try to improve. You said that we need more resources down there. Some people are saying nothing stops us from doing it right now. But I want to tell them that all over the world, it has been actually approved, approved that if you do not put it in writing, <laughs> if you just leave it to discretion, most people will be very reluctant to implement it. That's why they have done it in other jurisdictions. Like in Nigeria, it's clearly written there that 20% of the resources will go to the local government. 35% goes to the state government and 45% goes to the federal government. Meaning what? That means that 55% of resources in Nigeria are devolved. And that's why we were talking about 35%. And somebody felt that that was not good enough. We are we have so many things that we wanted to do. And I know that working together with these governors, we can be able to improve service delivery to our people. We can be able to do better roads in our rural areas and in our urban areas. We'll be able to supply water to everybody, as I said, because water, I've said, is a right to each and every Kenyan. We can be able to produce more food in our country, so that our country becomes self-sufficient in terms of food production. We can also be able to do value addition to goods that are produced in our farms, goods which are down there, the minerals in our country. We can be able to, and this will itself provide a lot of employment to our youth. Our youth right now are lacking productive employment. And that's why I'd said that we want to ensure that each sub-county has a particular industry, specialized in a particular product. One sub-county, one product. And this will help us in our program for industrialization of our country. We will also want to also digitize our economy and uh, expand it to digitization so that communication becomes more efficient uh, working with these, these governors. So we are, I'm very hap happy to have this opportunity to uh, converse with the governors.
As you know, today a very important exercise is starting. That is voter registration of our people. And we want these governors to go down there and champion the process of ensuring that our young people register as voters so that they can be able to participate in the most historic elections in our country on the 9th of August this year. Mm -hmm. I want to thank all of them here. The journey is on. Azimio La Umoja, as he said, is our clarion call. That we want to unite our people, so that the people become one, irrespective of their status in terms of wealth. Because if somebody is actually agitating for a class war, that, oh, Matajiri, na Mahaslas. In every society, there must always be capital owners, those who will be owning means of production, and those who are also employed. You do not deprive the rich so that you can enrich the poor. You create opportunity for the poor to become rich. Yes. This is what we want to do ourselves, so that our people can be able to change the socio-economic status, upward social mobility is what we want, so that we create a bigger middle income class in our country. And we can do it, and this is what is going to move this country from a struggling third world economy to a middle income, and finally a first, a, a, a first uh, uh, class society. In, uh, among the riches in the world. Kenyans can do it. Kenyans have ability to do it. Only opportunities lacking. And we'll give them that opportunity to change Kenya. I thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank you.